Hi, I was recently watching a video on the subject of retirement. This had been made a couple of years ago and I was thinking to myself, it's all been said before. Surely, if you watch YouTube, you watch enough videos on YouTube, you'll get all the good advice about being retired. Now, I'm not talking about the money side of it. I'm talking about the psychological side of it, how you will enjoy or not enjoy your retirement. And this particular subject is where should I live when retired? And you might think to yourself, well, when I come up to retirement, I'll be able to get out of this environment. I'll be able to go somewhere else. I'll upgrade. I'll take a sea change or a mountain change or whatever. This might be the way you're thinking about it. Or the usual way is I'm going to go on a big, long holiday. And you might be able to afford to go on a big, long holiday. If you're very wealthy, you'll be able to get onto the QE2, sail around the world on a world trip and maybe come back six months later, but you will have to come back home. So where you decide to live, that's the very important thing here. Now, I don't know your life story. There's no way that I can know about you. I'd have to know all about your particular life story to be able to give you some sage advice here. And not only that, I'd be able to not only know your life story, but interpret it from your point of view. How you conduct your life is up to you, as you know. You are the captain of your ship, the master of your fate. So goes the Shakespearean saying, or well, somebody said that anyway. <laughs> okay. Now we know that the retirement industry paints a rosy picture. They always do. And they always seem to point towards people travelling. Holidays of travel. And you might travel. You might even decide to become a grey nomad sell the house, buy yourself a camper wagon, trade trapes around the country for many, many years. But eventually, if you retire at 60, by the time you get to about getting up towards your 80s, you're going to think, well, I don't know about this traipsing around in the caravan anymore. That's the time you'll need home. And if you've already sold your home, and inflation has put the buying a new one out of reach, you might have made the wrong choice. However, if you rented your home and then travelled around as a grey nomad or sailed around the world in your own yacht if you could afford it, fine. But most people don't do that. They don't have that sort of money. So where will you live when you have home? Because after the holiday period, you will spend most of your time at home. Retirees do. Well, by that I mean your home will be your home base. I'm not saying you're going to be indoors all the time, but it will be your home base. Now, if the home base that you have now, while you're still working, or just shortly after you've retired, is a comfortable one for you and you don't owe money on it, then the chances are you'll have a good retirement because you'll be familiar with the area. You'll know where all the roads lead. You'll know the bus routes, the timetables for the trains, etc. Why go to a new state or a new country and have to learn that all again, live among strangers? So my general advice is this. If the house you're living in, the home you're living in, is suitable for you now, it will probably be suitable for you in retirement, at least for a while. If it's got big grounds around it, big gardens to maintain, 
that might become a problem as you get older. But even that, you can get people in to do the lawn mowing, and clipping, etc. These people, there are people out there who earn a living doing that. But eventually you might decide to downsize. And if you do downsize, once again my advice, and I don't know your life, would be don't move too far away from where you are now so that you still know the same roads, the same timetables, time and maybe go to the same shops and know the same people. This is all general advice, I guess. And as I've said in my videos many times, I've been retired 28 years now, and I'm now 87. And I think most of the choices I've made have been able to keep my darling wife and myself, and we've been married 63 years now, pretty happy in retirement. So don't do anything really outrageous when you retire. Think carefully about it. Remember, you could be retired for a very, very long time, and you want those retirement years to be as happy, prosperous, and fulfilling as they can be. So plan early, don't do anything rash, and enjoy your life.